Howdy, hey, howdy ho. Welcome back, you little ho. Hey guys, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications on the little bell icon so you never miss out on any future videos. Guys, today I'm bringing you another juicy story time. Is it juicy? Girl, it's juicy. It's about to get real juicy in here. So if you haven't yet, go get your blend, go get some snacks, get some popcorn, pour a little bit of wine because today, this just adds a razzle dazzle to, to what's it called? To the sweet and sour sauce. All right, I hope you have gotten your snacks already. No mames, pinche chilote. All right, let me go ahead. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It's falling all over me. Per. This is a story about how I caught my ex, at the time boyfriend, with his BP inside another female's BP. Yeah, you heard that right. You heard that right, exactly. Yes, let me go ahead and paint a picture for you. Um, I was dating this guy for I don't even know how long like about a year and a half, right? It's the end of 2015 beginning of 2016 our relationships fresh whatever whatever and um, I catch him cheating on me through messages from some other girl So whatever we're back together, right? My trust issues start to bubble They start to bubble but we cool, you know, we cool, we working through it, you know. And then um, my boyfriend at the time had some friends, right? He had some friends and these friends were very vago friends. And if you don't know what vago means, it means very mischievous. And they were down the wrong path, doing some bad things. So... Me being the good girlfriend that I am, also with the little trust issues that I had, I'm like, no quiero que te juntes con ellos, no bad things gonna happen. And then also there was always this one girl. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. There was this one girl that was always there, right? So I'm like, you know, like there's a girl there, blah, blah, blah I don't trust you. And the typical thing, typical fucking thing that every guy tells you, I'm gonna not tell you yet. Pause, go down in the comments and let me know if you know what this guy is about to tell me. Take a second. Hey, no. You're crazy. You're crazy, you're making it up, it's all in your head, estas loca, you like to cause drama, blah, 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 every fucking excuse in the fucking world. So you know what, I'm like, whatever. I've never had any proof specific of this girl, so I can't judge and say specific things because I don't have proof of it. Whatever, I drop it. And keep in, um, keep in mind that this relationship was very toxic. He was a manipulator, a liar, he was abusive. So just painting the picture for you, okay? This is no way intended to bash this person or anybody in this story if you're watching it or somehow somebody sent it to you. Anyway, 
so yeah whatever um then we get into this big argument as we always would and usually when the arguments would happen según él, is when he would cheat but this bitch was always cheating girl like how the fuck because we were always together blows my mind like that food was working overtime <laughs> like literally the fact that he was finessing us like hats off to you but whatever um so yeah so we get into this big argument right and then we're like low-key broken up for the night you know how it be but during this time i was going to college and i think the day before or i don't know when i didn't go to school so i needed a doctor's note and he had my doctor's note and um and i called because it was a fake one um so yeah so he had it and i needed it but we were broken up so he was not answering my messages through the day uh i think it was like kind of more than uh like afternoon nochecita like eight around eight he wasn't answering my messages so like i was blowing him up all fucking night like bitch i go to fucking school at six in the fucking morning like i need this fucking note before then so best believe i was blowing up that fucking phone but then it's almost like closer getting time for me to go to school so i'm like bitch like i'm gonna just go to his house go to his window because we would always sneak out through his window to just vibe and smoke so i'm gonna be like i'm gonna go to his window and i can just open it too if he's in there and asleep like i'm gonna just open it and sneak in the way i would always do and um and ask him for my fucking doctor's note so then i'm driving to his fucking home in my little fiat pull up park mama started walking to the fucking uh window the window was literally kind of like on the side of where you park so it was you didn't have to go to the front of the house like you would just like walk to the side of the house and the window was there so i'm walking up right and i'm walking up and i see that the curtain of the room obviously is blowing out because of the air so i'm like why the fuck does this fool have his fucking window open and the fact that i did not see them like still to this day trips me the fuck out okay so i'm walking up to the window the fucking curtains blowing out the fucking window and i literally legit walk up to the fucking window like bitch i'm literally like there and i'm confused as fuck and i look inside his room and he's not there so then i'm extra confused and i turn around and tell me why tell me why this fool and that bitch the one that he was telling me that i'm crazy about and that i'm making shit up both of them are laying there covered in a fucking cobijita. Ay, pobrecitos, tenían frío. They're covered in a fucking blanket, bitch. And I like turn around and I look at them. And I don't know if they had seen me walking up and they were just maybe staying quiet and hoping that I would just be like oblivious because low key I was oblivious walking up. Like I was, I didn't see them. They were camouflaged the house. And so i turn it around and then that's when i see them and then i see this bitch laying down they're like spooning he's in the back she's in the front all right and also keep in mind that this girl is a fucking hood rat like literally hood rat she was like maybe underage i don't even think this girl was even 15 yet so that can paint another picture for you guys but this girl was a hood rat she was literally pobrecita like peace and love to you girl but whatever anyways that hoe was there laying down and he was laying down behind her and then i look and then i'm like what the fuck and tell me why this bitch tell me why this bitch had the fucking audacity to fucking get up i guess he didn't think or he was scared or i don't know but tell me why this fool fucking gets up and you won't guess you will not fucking guess bitch what the fuck i saw next you will not guess he gets up his fucking dick is all the way out. All the way out. All the fucking way out, bitch. Hard as fuck. And in this moment, I was so chill. I was so chill, y'all. Like, I think I was so much in disbelief. Or maybe it wasn't even disbelief. Maybe, like, this was, like, the answers that i already knew you know 
So maybe that's why I was so chill. But yeah, he gets up, his dick is out. And then I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm literally like, this is the fucking edge of the trampoline. You know, the, like the trampolines are like round. So just picture this like round. And then this is the bitch right here. And this is my ex or boyfriend at the time, right? This fool gets up, his fucking penis is all out. I'm standing right here in front of this hoe. She's still laying down, bien a gusto. And out of nowhere, my hand just... I fucking punched that bitch in the face. I didn't mean to. I, that was just a reflex. Like, to this day, I swear to God, that shit was just a reflex. Like, you gotta fuck that, though. And I punched this bitch, and then tell me why this little girl gets up. She's like, don't be fucking hitting me, bitch. And I'm like, I already did, ho. And then, well, yeah, I'm about to fight this girl. And then I don't know if my ex gets, like, down, and he, like, is holding me back and blah, 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 and all this stuff. The fucking drama, bitch, like, at fucking 5 in the morning. Like, who in the fuck? And I'm like, oh, fuck, no. I ripped my fucking necklace that he had gotten me. It was, like, an infi infinity necklace. Ghetto as fuck. I ripped that shit, and I'm like, fuck that, blah, blah, blah. I'm pissed as fuck. And I'm like, take this bitch home. And then he takes her home. Like, tell me why he takes her home. I offered to take her home, but he's like, no, you're going to fuck her up, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, you better go and come back, bitch. So he goes and come back and whatever. You know how toxic relationships be. We back together. <laughs> I love you, baby, baby, baby. Then fast forward to maybe a month later or a couple of weeks later, there's this house party close by. Um, his friends invite him, but obviously he's got to bring me. But tell me why he tells me. The guy that invited him is the best friend of that girl, which is like best friends with him too. So he's all like, oh, like... We're gonna name this fool fucking. Pendejo number one. So he's not like, Pendejo number two is my ex boyfriend, okay? So Pendejo number one invites Pendejo number two, and then Pendejo number two tells me, the beautiful girlfriend, hey, like, we're gonna go to a party, but this fucking hood rat is gonna be there. Blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be driving in the same car. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, tell me why I'm about to fuck this bitch. I'm just kidding. So the day comes around. We meet up at McDonald's. We hop in the whip. And tell me why this bitch is there. Tell me why this bitch is there. Should have grabbed her by the fucking greñas and dragged that home. Nah, just kidding. Honestly, like, fuck that bitch and fuck that food too. Porque honestly, like... I don't really give a fuck, bitch. I already been knowing. The fact that you gotta lie to me is what bothers me. Anyway, so I'm in the car, this bitch is in there, and then I offer her some of this fucking drink that we pulled up with, and I'm like, oh, do you want some? And then she fucking rejects my fucking drink, and I'm like, I know this hoe did not just fucking reject my drink. Like, you're gonna reject my drink, but you can't reject my fucking man's dick in your mouth, bitch. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we're at the party, whatever. And like I said, this girl's a hood rat, so this girl was never ever at her house. She always carried like a little backpack with her. I guess she always had like her fucking belongings there. Y pues se quedaba en donde la dejaban. Donde pinche el pito la dejaba. <laughs> y este... So yeah, like I think that bitch leaves somewhere and then my ex, boyfriend at the time, he sees her back and he's all like, hey, let's, I guess, skulkarle la, la backpack. And then I was like, okay, I'm down. I'm like, I'm down, bitch. Yes, yes. And then, so we go into the restroom and we get her backpack and there's literally nothing in there but fucking clothes. Like, I'm telling you, esta wey no tiene ni donde caer muerta. So, we see her toothbrush in the fucking front pocket and I'm like, bitch. And then I'm like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And he's like, yes. So then we get her fucking toothbrush, bitch. Ah! We get her toothbrush and there was poop shit splattered on the fucking toilet at the house party. So tell me why the fuck we get the fucking toothbrush and we rub it against the fucking shit. And the toilet, the water, we dip it. And then we put it back. But then we hide her backpack. And then, like, tell me why this girl starts going, no, 
all this tummy bolsa where's my bag like the whole party just looking at her like a fucking dumb bitch so i don't remember if we like put it somewhere where she could see it or eventually she found it but at the end of the day i didn't give a fuck <laughs> and then fast forward to like maybe a year later I'm no longer dating this guy like everything I'm over it life is going wonderful for me I go to Walmart because I need pads um because I literally randomly started my period so I go to Walmart and then I'm waiting in line for the self-checkout and then one of the self-checkouts um whoever was there right was self-checking out and then they were finished and when they were finished like I start walking towards them but tell me why the person that was fucking finished was the fucking hood rat and let me tell you that when that fucking bitch looked up and saw my face she left her face behind like that bitch left the fucking walmart faster than you can say walmart or faster than you can say hood rat <laughs> and i was confused like like, I noticed that this person, like, left fast, but I was, like, still not como putting two, two together. And then I'm like, oh. I was like, it was this bitch. It was this bitch. And then Tommy, like, fucking, I don't know how long later, um, I'm plugging up by, with some plug. And, like, tell me why this plug, I guess, is friends with her or friends of friends. But I don't know what the fuck. But tell me why this fool tells me that this bitch was telling people that I didn't want to fight her and that like just barely like literally like talking shit as if like she was gonna fight me and that i was scared of her and i'm like what what are you fucking talking about you fucking stupid bitch? oh my god i forgot you can't cuss on here <gasps> um so yeah can you fucking believe that shit like after i offered her my fucking drink this bitch still had the audacity to fucking tell people that i didn't want to fucking fight her like first of all bitch like i'm not gonna fight over some fucking loser that's cheating on me bitch like if we're both getting played like or if you're getting played in the sense that you're just the hoe or i don't i don't give a fuck at the end of the day bitch you're young ni me llegas a los pinches talones till this day you don't and to all the fucking bitches that still fucking knew and still were there hopping on that dick thank you thank you bitch because that fool was fucking mad annoying oh and i didn't even mention this so like when he got up and his dick was hard tell me why this fool before like before this incident happened tell me why like when we would have sex this guy's dick would not get hard but not because i can't get dick hard but because this fool was always cheating on me and when we would go to have sex la pinche conciencia would get the best of him and his fucking ass couldn't get hard but like i said he was a manipulator and he would always be like oh like my dick doesn't get hard because you're a fucking hoe like bitch your mama's a hoe you know your mama raised a fucking hoe and she's a hoe because the fucking apple doesn't far far apple what the fuck i can't speak the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree but just kidding mucho amor pa la suegra psych but anyway yeah so anyway he would say that my dick and my dick poop, <laughs> that his dick wouldn't get hard because i was a hoe but i'm like bitch like i was never cheating on him but he would always fucking accuse me of cheating because he was cheating but I'm like, bitch, like, all these fools. Are and then the people that he would say that I would cheat with. Wait, no mames, que pinche asquerosidad. La pura pinche neta, que pinche as asquerosidad, because. Uh, uh. And like, tell me why his homies too would fucking always help me find out who the bitches that he was cheating on me with. Like, they would tell me. Like, they would tell me. They would like send me the fucking Instagrams everything like everything so yeah so like when i saw his dick hard like i was like bitch the fuck you think i'm stupid 
you think I'm stupid, but I'm not. But I kind of was stupid a little bit, but anyway, that's not the point. You know, I was young, dumb, and I only let shit happen to me once. And that's it, baby. After I left him, I was like, deuces, baby. De lo que te vas a perder, mi amor. And that's it. And that's really the end of the story. And this morning, I fucking remembered that part about me offering her my drink because I had completely forgot about that. So good thing that I had remembered. And yeah, no hard feelings to anyone in this story. Um, we were all fresh out of high school, young, dumb. And clearly y'all were full of cum because a bitch was not getting any dick because I was being a loyal hoe. <laughs> But that's besides the point. Now, bitch is thriving and striving. Y ese wey quien sabe donde chingado se está haciendo o que está haciendo. Best wishes to all these hoes. And that is the end of the video. Um, I didn't fucking eat that much, which I'm kind of fucking sad. But I'm about to fucking dig in and eat this off camera. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope it was entertaining. And also, I want to give a disclaimer that I do not condemn. Condemn condone anybody to be in um, toxic relationships i do not condone anyone to feel anything less than what they deserve because baby girl baby girl baby doll you are a queen and you deserve everything from that ring to those fucking toes being done to your hair being did to that man catering to you all day every day okay don't forget your star <laughs> But yeah, guys, till next time.